Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the complete process of downloading and installing an iTunes on your Windows PC. We'll cover both methods, the traditional download from Apple's website and the newer Microsoft Store method. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up our web browser. I'm using Google Chrome here, but you can use any browser you prefer. Now I'm gonna search for iTunes in the search bar. Perfect. As you can see, we get several search results. Now this is super important. Always make sure you click on the official Apple link. You can see here it says apple.com, which is the official website. Never download software from unofficial sources as they might contain malware. Great. Now we're on Apple's official iTunes page. As you can see, we have multiple download options here. The first option says get it from Microsoft. This will take us to the Microsoft Store. But before we try that, let me show you the traditional method first. As you can see here, we have download options for both Mac and Windows. Um, since we're using a Windows computer today, I'm going to select the Windows option. If you're on a Mac, you would obviously choose the Mac option instead. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's another option that says download iTunes for Windows Now with two versions, 64-bit and 32-bit. Now, most modern computers are 64-bit, so I'm going to click on the 64-bit option. If you're not sure which one you have, go with 64-bit. It's the standard nowadays. Perfect. The download has started. The file is about 200 megabytes, so depending on your internet speed, this might take a few minutes. All right, our download is complete. I'm going to click on the downloaded file to start the installation process. The file should be in your downloads folder if you don't see it in your browser. Perfect. The iTunes installation wizard has opened. This is pretty straightforward. First, we need to click next to begin the installation process. Now we're on the destination folder screen. By default, iTunes will install to your Program Files folder, which is perfectly fine for most users. But if you want to change the installation location for any reason, you can click this Change button right here. I'm going to hover my mouse over it so you can see exactly where it is. For this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the default location. So I'll click Install to proceed. And now we wait. The installation process is running. This usually takes about a minute or two, so it's pretty quick. You can see the progress bar moving along. Excellent. The installation is complete. Now you'll notice there's a checkbox here that says open iTunes after the installer exits. I'm going to point to it with my mouse so you can see it clearly. This is checked by default, which means iTunes will automatically open when we click finish. Also, if you look at your desktop, you should now see an iTunes icon has been created. This means you can open iTunes from your desktop anytime after the installation. For now, I'll leave the checkbox checked and click Finish. Great. iTunes is opening for the first time. When you first launch iTunes, you'll see this software license agreement. This is normal. Just click Agree to accept the terms and continue. And there we have it. iTunes is now successfully installed and running on our Windows PC. You can see the welcome screen here with all the main features of iTunes. Quick tip, if you ever see iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes. On your phone, I have a complete fix tutorial on my channel. Check the description for the link. Now let's continue with our iTunes tour. Now let me quickly show you the Microsoft Store method as well. I'm gonna close iTunes for now and open up Chrome again. I'm going back to the iTunes download page, and this time I'll click on Get It From Microsoft to show you the alternative method. This takes us to the Microsoft Store page. Now I'll click View in Store to open the actual Microsoft Store application. Perfect. Here's iTunes in the Microsoft Store. You can see the Get button right here. If I click this, it would start downloading and installing iTunes directly through the Microsoft Store. The advantage of this method is that iTunes will automatically update through the store, and it's generally a cleaner installation. As you can see, the download and installation process starts automatically. The Microsoft Store handles everything for you. No installation wizard needed. Once it's installed, you can open iTunes directly from the Microsoft Store by clicking this Open button, or you can find it in your Start menu like any other application. And that's it. You now know both methods to install iTunes on your Windows PC. The traditional download gives you more control over the installation, 
while the Microsoft Store method is simpler and handles updates automatically. Choose whichever method you prefer. iTunes is now ready for you to manage your music library, sync with your iPhone or iPad, and access the iTunes Store. If this tutorial helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. Let me know in the comments which method you used and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.